Yeah, good morning. Um, Cliff Fields, um, we were talking about him last night uh, with some people, I know, yeah. And they were talking about uh, what was he like as a, as a, as a person. And yeah, because I was always with him, not always with him, uh, maybe twice, twice, three times a month. But the guy was a gentleman, you know, I've never heard him run down Lenny McLean. Never, ever heard him run down Lenny McLean. Never, ever he- heard him run down Roy Shaw. What he did say was he tried to get a fight with Roy Shaw. He said, but he, he thinks that Roy Shaw was a little bit afraid of him because he was so big. Uh, Lenny uh, made a bad mess of Roy Shaw. I think that's why... Um, Cliff Fields never got to fight Roy because Lenny bashed up Roy Shaw the last fight, didn't he? But he did say to me that um, he only he, the only reason that the only reason that he uh, he went into street fighting is because an unlicensed fighting is because he couldn't get a license. Uh, his license got revoked. Um, I, he said he said that the they said it was because he got cut. He cut his eyes too. That was they didn't do that. He, he got himself in a bit, a little bit of trouble. Went to prison. I was there, and he got a, he got his uh, license took away from him. That's what happens when you go away. You know, anything violence, anything like that, anything really bad, uh, they're going to take your license. Uh, like me, when I was trying to get my professional license, they done the same thing with me. But that's what it is anyway. Um, I was talking to Cliff about uh, Lenny. Uh, do you know what? He never, ever, ever, all the time I've known Cliff, big yourself up. Never big yourself up. He just said he, it's all about the money, mate. He said there's nothing about it. It's all about the money. So I, I, he said, look, I ain't bigging myself up. He said, but Lenny McLean, he said he couldn't fight, Ray. You know, he said, that he, he, you know, he really, I mean, he, he could bang, but he couldn't bang couldn't bang you in a way of knocking you out about f- maybe three or four punches, yeah? He said, uh, and Roy Shaw, he said, he just wouldn't fight me, um, uh, you know, and when I, when I was talking about uh, uh, this Lou Yates, not to, not to Cliff, because it never come out uh, when I was with Cliff, but when Lou uh, did say, uh, when he'd done that, um, when he'd done that uh, podcast with... Um, with a with company, he, he did say that, um, was it Liquid liquid Bullet or something, what is it? I think it's Liquid, liquid Bullet. He said that uh, Cliff Fields, uh, when he walked into a bar, Cliff Fields turned his back on him, yeah? And uh, he, his bottle went. Listen, I've known Cliff Fields a long, long time. Uh, Cliff Fields have worked with me, and I've seen Cliff Fields fight. Cliff Fields wasn't afraid of any man. Uh, he'd fight any man. And he definitely, definitely wouldn't be turning his back on Lou Yates. I mean, Lou Yates was a very hard man, but he wouldn't have beat uh, Cliff Fields. Cliff Fields would have just bashed him up, in my opinion. You know, in my opinion, uh, maybe you might feel different, but in my opinion, I think uh, Cliff Fields would have bashed up Lou, Lou, Lou Yates quite easy. I mean, on the show a Box On, on the show a Box On, uh, with, um, with, uh, with Cliff Fields, when he fought Red Buck for the title. I was there that night. I was also there that night. I boxed that night. I boxed a guy called Brian Hall. I'm six minutes nine, I'm six minutes nine seconds into the fight. You'll see me, uh, black shorts, uh, yeah. And um, Brian, I beat, I, well, I, it was a draw. It was a draw, me and Brian fought. Um, I met Cliffield, that's where I met, met Cliffield. was the first time I met Cliffield was that time, uh, when him and Lenny had a bit of a, bit of a barley and it just, Push Lenny over like it was nothing, you know what I mean? Lenny got a bit out of out of his pram and he just Lenny come in all gold up with dicky bow ties and all that game and uh, Cliff Fields just wrapped him up like a like a spider with, in, a, in a web, you know. But uh, he never ever run as I say, he never run into a down but all the time I was with Cliff and Jimmy Tibbet in I'd never seen Cliff run him anyone down. Cliff can bang, mate. I mean it's I used to muck about with Cliff. I've had a few rounds with Cliff at the rank that um, Cats Whistler Stratton when I was putting the ring up and all that. And um, let me tell you something. Cliff feels can bang, mate. He can bang. He, he, he ain't no, um, he ain't no slouch yet. And um, I think, I think that if he'd have, I think if he'd have got his license back at that time, he could have been a lot better. He could have been a British European champion instead of being what was he? I think he was a Southern Area champion, wasn't he? Uh, he did say, not bigging himself up. He did say to me that he won the ABAs, um, 
when he was in the Navy, uh, he said there was no one, there was no one in his class there. He used to knock them all out, he said he used to, he used to run. He used to be one of the, uh, they used to, everybody gave him a big, big respect when he was in the Navy, mate. Big, big respect. He just, you know, uh, I loved him for the way he was. Uh, I'm so sorry when I, when I see the, when Matt Legg, uh, love Matt Legg, mate, love Matt, Matt Legg's channel. Uh, when Matt Legg showed me um, Cliff Fields, uh, in a in a, in a calf and eating his breakfast, it killed me, man. It knocked me out. Um, I've never seen Cliff Fields like that. You know, um, for Cliff Fields to get to to get to to be bashed up uh, and smashed in the face with glasses and all that, and to lose his eye, that shouldn't have happened to him. You know, that there's no way that that should have happened. Should should have happened to him. He should have gone. Shouldn't have gone out that way, mate. That's a terrible way to go out. You know what I mean? And this give up, he just give up, his old body just collapsed, you know, and it's just a shame to see a guy, a big guy, what was he, 19 stone, go right down to about eight, eight and a half, nine stone, and just completely wither away, you know what I mean, it just got me, mate, when I see that, it killed me, you know what I mean, because Cliff Phil was a, a, was a gentleman, uh, Cliff Phil was a person that never run anybody down, uh, he just done what he done, he done his work, well, he paid. He got paid for to, to to do something, and he done it, yeah. And uh, he done it to the best of, best of his ability. And uh, he just bashed people up. He loved it. He loved it, mate. Anyway, this is uh, Bang Bang Rail. Um, just a little little video about Cliff Fields. Um, I loved him, man. He, uh, you know, when we talk, when, when I talk about him uh, to my mates, um, I get a bit right, emotional really because the guy was a nice guy, you know what I mean? To go out like he did, like, the, the way he went out was terrible, mate. It was really bad, you know. Anyway, uh, bang, 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 well, yeah, nice and good morning, yeah, bye bye.